The Gabba rebuild has been cancelled. The Olympic Games might be moved from Brisbane. What on earth is going on? We're going to be breaking down the 2032 Olympic Games. Is it even still going ahead here in Brisbane? And what's going on in terms of the developments, the stadiums, the transport and infrastructure around the Brisbane market that is going to be supporting the games and also supporting the property market because there's a lot of infrastructure happening that's going to see Brisbane grow over the next decade or less. We're only looking at another eight years now until the Olympic Games rolls around. Now, my name's Luke. I talk all things real estate, renovating and financial freedom. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the preparation for the 2032 Olympics. If you want to do me a favor and subscribe to the channel down below and drop a like on this video, that'd be great. Now, let's start talking about the 2032 Olympic Games. Now there's a lot to be excited about for these 2032 Olympics. There's going to be population growth here in Brisbane with another million people expected in the Southeast Queensland market over the next eight to 10 years. And we're also expecting that there's going to be a boom, not just in Brisbane, but across the Southeast Queensland area talking as far as the Sunshine Coast down to the Gold Coast and everything in between. Now, one of those major upgrades will be the highways between the Sunshine Coast and Brisbane and Brisbane and the Gold Coast. And we've talked about in previous videos about things like the Coomera Connector or the Bruce Highway alternative, where the government is looking to take traffic off those main highways, upgrade those main highways themselves so that we can actually make the distance from the Sunshine Coast to Brisbane to the Gold Coast and hopefully not sit in traffic the whole time. But what is going on? Let's start with the headline act, which is the Gabba rebuild, which has apparently been cancelled. So despite the Gabba announcing it would be demolished in 2025 to make way for a brand new stadium, the government has cancelled those plans after they recently completed a review, which costs a lot of money, might I add, into the venue infrastructure for the games. With costs blowing out to over $3 billion, the rebuild has been ruled out in favour for investigating upgrades to CUSAC, which is based in Mount Gravatt, and Suncorp Stadium, which is already the nominated venue for the opening and closing ceremonies. Now, can we just talk about Suncorp Stadium for a moment? What is the current capacity of Suncorp? So the current capacity of Suncorp Stadium is 52,500 people. Now, for an Olympic Games opening and closing ceremony on a football-sized pitch, not a track style or an oval style pitch, which, which can hold 80 to 100,000 people, if there's only 52,500 seats available, these tickets are going to be like going to the UFC. It's going to be $10,000 to get a seat at these Olympic Games venues, or it's going to be a lottery because there's going to be so many people who want to be part of this event. Our kids will be, you know, eight and 10 by this point. So we're excited to take the kids to the Olympic Games. But if we want to get a seat somewhere at Suncorp for the opening ceremony, or even for any event for that matter, it's going to be thousands and tens of thousands of dollars. So we better start saving because it's going to be a very expensive event, or there's going to be a lot of ticket scalping if people are trying to get seats in such a small stadium. I was expecting that they were going to do an upgrade so we could have a stadium of 80 to 100,000 seats like Melbourne, like Sydney. But if we're not going to do that, it's going to make it very difficult for people to actually physically attend a lot of these sporting events because there's going to be so many people who want the tickets. Now let's talk about the Brisbane Arena next. A home for live entertainment in the CBD, no more than half an hour drive to see your favourite acts, good luck with traffic guys. A new 18,000 seat entertainment area complex serviced by Roma Street's network of underground rail and bus infrastructure has long been planned but always been up in the air. Well, with the recent review advising the build will go ahead, only elsewhere in the Roma Street precinct rather than directly over the Roma Street station, which would have caused chaos to public transport for a long period of time. The government has now committed to the build in the new location, which will see it heavily connected to the city and public transport options and add to the development of the upcoming precinct. Now, I really like the Roma Live or Brisbane Arena development. Although they're moving the location, I think it's going to be in a great spot. And we really do need an 18,000 seater capacity stadium for entertainment because we have some smaller areas across the South Bank side of the river. We've then got River Stage, which is a nice outdoor venue. But the Brisbane Arena or the Roma Live precinct is going to be great because it's walking distance from the city. You've also got access from the train station or the bus networks. So it's exciting to see this development continue here in Brisbane. 
Now, with all these athletes coming to Brisbane, they're going to need somewhere to stay, and that's why we're having the North Shore Hamilton development. So currently in this location, there's been the Eat Street venue, and not much else, it's pretty industrial around Eat Street. But with the Olympics coming in, the location's earmarked for the Athletes Village, and post the games, the housing they build will be turned into a mix of social, retirement, rental, hotel, and owner-occupied housing. So it's creating more housing stock here in the Brisbane market, which is a good thing. With this in mind, the North Shore will be looking to use its prime waterfront location to its advantage, where they hope to build a space that cultivates enterprise, innovation, and tourism. It sounds like someone in marketing wrote that. A place that balance work-life balance and play uh, and experiences. So, so to summarize, they're building a brand new development on the North Shore in Hamilton for the Olympic athletes, and then they're going to use it for housing, hotels, permanent accommodation, retirement. There's gonna be a bunch of people that wanna move into that area once it's been built up. This is only good for Brisbane because we do need more housing with more people coming in to this Brisbane market. We do need to see more density, and this is gonna create more density in the inner ring of Brisbane. So the Brisbane Olympic Games and Paralympic Games are still planned on going ahead. They're going to cost the government $5 billion potentially, and they're going to look to recoup a lot of that money through ticket sales and sponsorships to try and make the games break even. But for anyone interested in real estate or property investment, the games also bring an opportunity because there's infrastructure over the next eight years leading up to the games. These stadiums and North Shore Hamilton developments and the cancellation of the Gabba development do impact people's decision making when it comes to buying a property. If you are able to buy a property in the inner middle ring of Brisbane, which has access to transport, access to infrastructure, access to the CBD, when the games are around, these areas are going to be prime for getting access to events and potentially grow in value due to the demand. Now, the games themselves aren't going to be the main driver of the demand. It's going to be more people moving into Southeast Queensland, both from overseas and interstate, that drive up the property prices. At the end of the day, these are infrastructure spends. They do create jobs, but they only create jobs in the thousands or tens of thousands. The real economics at play are supply and demand in the property market. If we only have limited supply and building is very expensive, which I understand at the moment with our raise and build project, and you've got the cost of time and materials, which are very high for developers to try and create a profit out of their developments so they're not building. And on the flip side, you've got growing demand and more and more people moving from Sydney, from Melbourne, from Canberra, more people coming from overseas, moving into the Australian market and into Southeast Queensland in this example. Then you've got growing demand and lack of supply keeping up with that demand and therefore property prices in established areas are going to continue to grow due to the supply and demand imbalance. Now I'm very excited for the games to take my boys to the Olympic games and hopefully we can pick up some tickets, not for the 10 to $20,000 mark if they're getting scalped, but I'd love to take my boys to some Olympic game events. And I'm also excited because I'm investing here in Southeast Queensland as Emily and I have roughly three and a half million dollars worth of property here in the Brisbane market. So we're backing Brisbane to continue growing. We believe in the short, mid and long-term growth, looking at the fundamentals and looking at the value add opportunities that we can create through our property investments here in Brisbane. If you're interested in buying a property here in Brisbane, head over to purposeproperty.com.au. I run a buyer's agency and myself and my team can help you secure a property here in Brisbane in the next six months. We'll sit down in our free strategy session, talk about your situation, talk about the services that we provide and discuss our next steps in helping you secure a property here in the greater Brisbane market. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. What do you reckon is going on with the Brisbane infrastructure? Are there gonna be more cancellations or delays? I'd love to hear your thoughts about the Olympic games in 2032. If you could drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel and click this video over here because YouTube thinks you'll really like it. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.